Greetings, boys and girls. My name is Aaron and Kane. Today, we're talking about screws, the all-important commodity in Fallout 76 that lets you repair and craft equipment. To begin, I'll show you four locations to farm Wendigos and Megasloths for the screws that they drop. Next, we'll cover another four locations where you can find many junk items to scrap for screws. Now that you know what we're doing, let's get started. To get this started, I've got four locations for farming Wendigos and Megasloths. Only one of the locations is guaranteed, but they're all pretty common, so it shouldn't be a problem. So our first location is going to be up in the northern part of the map at Abby's Bunker. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. So here at Abby's Bunker, we're going to turn around and head directly to the road. We're going to follow it south until we see an upended trailer that's being suspended from a tree by vines. And there we see that straight ahead. So what we're looking for is potentially three Wendigo spawns. And we're going to slow down right here and it looks like we actually got all three of them. There's one in that tree there, one in that tree straight ahead, and one in that tree right there. So let's move forward a little bit carefully. And we'll start taking these guys down. So there's one. There's two. And we'll pick out this last guy. There's our third. So let's start with this guy. So from him, we got eight loose screws. Nice, that's the max. And then from the second guy, we got five. And then from our third guy, we got six. So that is a pretty good haul for one location. Um, so let's move to our next spot. And that is going to be just to the south at the Moss Town. So at the spawn point, we're going to turn directly to the southwest. And we'll head forward about 100 meters. If you look closely, you can see our buddy right there. And he is a guaranteed spawn, so every time you come here for him, unless somebody else has taken him down, uh, he will be here. So let's go ahead and take care of this now. It's not pretty. It doesn't make us happy. We need those screws. And now that we have uh, taken care of business, that got us another five screws. So we'll go ahead and take those. And our next location is going to be to the southeast at the Delano Grange. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. So once we spawn in at the Delano Grange, we're going to turn to the northwest, but just a little more west, so that the uh, W on the compass shows, but not the N. We're going to go forward again about 100 meters, and that's what we're looking for, is that little shack. So we're going to head, we'll drop down here, and then cross over the ravine. And then on the far side of that, You'll see there's these aluminum veins. We're gonna pass those and just drop right down into the lower area here. And we would, uh, over here we will see that we've got two mega sloths hanging from the trees. We would hope that there would have been a third one in this tree, but it's okay. We'll take the two that we got. So we'll go ahead and take this first one out. There's one. Go ahead and take our second friend out. And both down now. Let's see, the first one gives us a total of six screws, and the second one gives us another five screws. Not too bad. 
Let's move on to our next location. And that is going to be down here at the treetops, just a little ways to the south. Let's fast travel there. So there are three possibilities when you go to the treetops. You'll get honey beasts, snallygasters, or in our case, we got our friend the mega sloth. Let's go ahead and take him down. then from him, we got another six loose screws. That's not too shabby. So now that we've covered locations to farm monsters for screws, let's cover a couple locations to farm junk items to turn into screws. Our first location is going to be over here in the Cranberry Bog, a location we've covered a few times on this channel. Uh, it's going to be the abandoned bog town. We're going to take the pylon v13 waypoint Let's fast travel there All right dropping in at pylon v13 near the abandoned bog town We're going to turn to our left and head towards this brick building So once we get to this point I'm going to head right over here Go up those that ladder, up this ladder, and we're gonna grab this desk fan. And then we're gonna drop down again, and then head into the main lobby of this office building. In the side room, there's another fan. Grab that. And then in the main lobby area, there's a typewriter. Go and grab that. Head out the building and down the the uh, alleyway. Between the two buildings, there will be some scaffolding and a fire escape that leads up to the roof. So we're going to go all the way up. And then we'll see an elevator shaft. And we're going to drop down one floor. And then here is where the majority of what we came for is. We're looking for typewriters. We've got also antique globes. Not a bad idea to check all the cabinets and all the desks because they often drop specifically loose screws, but uh, other items as well. In this area, we'll have a clean pepper mill. We'll also have a hot plate. And then on top of this cabinet, there will be an antique globe. There's another typewriter. Just keep grabbing all the typewriters. In this section, there's a typewriter, a desk fan, another typewriter, and another typewriter. Now we've got an antique globe, typewriter, desk fan, and one more globe. Now, I bet you thought we were done. We are not. We're going to go ahead and drop through this hole and then we're going to head outside and drop down to the ground floor again. Across the way there will be a police station. We're going to go ahead and enter the police station and then you'll notice we've got another desk fan and then on the counter is a pair of handcuffs. Grab that and then heading into the back room, we've got another pair of handcuffs on the desk, a third pair of handcuffs on the shelf. And if we head out this door in the shed, there is a fourth pair of handcuffs. And then in this wheelbarrow, we'll see a total of five pairs of handcuffs. That is going to do it for this location. Let's head to the nearby workbench and we'll see how much we got out of this. So scrapping all of this, 
gets us a total of 31 screws, not to mention a bunch of other important things, springs and gears as well. Uh, so this is a really nice haul. Our next location is going to be another one that's going to be familiar if you've watched many of my videos. We are heading back to the Sugar Grove. So we're going to head up this road and into the main entrance of the building. The Sugar Grove is another one of those that is great for a lot of things, including screws, but as well as gears and springs and things like that, as well as lead for that matter. Um, so what we want to do is head into this main uh, entrance area and we are looking for desk fans for the most part and we also want to find antique globes of which there are plenty and we've got that one there there's another desk fan head inside now that we're inside, we're going to be looking on the desks for, let's get our light on, it's kind of dark in here, uh, for desk fans, obviously, um, but we also want to grab these portable fuel tanks as they will generate screws. And there's a desk fan there. We want to check these side rooms. There's another fan. Check this other side room. Nothing in this one. There's another desk fan. There's another desk fan. So we're basically just checking all of these desk areas and side rooms. And this one, and I'm relatively certain there's nothing in this one. Yeah, nothing in there. <clears throat> so I think that is all the fans in this room. Nope, one more. All right, let's head into the conference rooms here. Find an antique globe on the on the table, and then another globe on this table. We're gonna head down the stairs. And we will find a desk fan here. And continuing into the main command center. We're going to go into the server room. Basically looking for the shelf. Here's the shelf. There is one desk fan there and another desk fan there. Heading back out in the main command center, there's a coffee area that has a hot plate. We're going to grab that. So now with all of those in our inventory, we're going to head up this way and there is a room with, there is a couple of robots in here. You have to take them out. Um, but there is also an antique globe and a workbench so we can scrap everything. So taking what we've got, let's scrap it all. And we end up with 19 screws. That's not so bad. Not so bad. And that is a pretty good haul for a short run. Our next location is going to be another one that's familiar for us. It's going to be the National Radio Astronomy Research Center. Let's fast travel there. So at the spawn point, we're just going to head up the road here and go straight in through the front entrance. Once inside, we're going to look to our right and grab this antique globe. And then we're going to go to our left and grab a desk fan. Keep going to our left. And we will grab a typewriter, a desk fan, desk fan, 
desk pan. I'm going to continue over this way and grab the hot plate. And the antique globe. So we're going to skip the bathroom and the kitchen because there's nothing in there for us. Head down this hallway and into the second room and we'll grab the typewriter there. And then continuing down into the basement. There's not a whole lot for us here. <clears throat> There's a bunch of containers in this room that we may want to check. Uh, but no specific things that we can pick up. Continuing downwards, we'll head into this little utility room and grab the desk fan there. Um, there is a workbench if uh, you find it necessary at this point. We're going to head back upstairs now. And we are going to pass first level, where we came from and head up to the second floor. There is a desk fan in here. We'll need the research keys to, uh, to get into this room. I'll show you where that's at in a moment. And up on the third floor, I'm gonna hit this first room and grab the typewriter. And then this main room, I'm gonna head over this way we will grab the desk pan and the globe. Watch the hole in the floor. Then in this room, we'll have another typewriter. There are also uh, cabinets and things like that for you to check. Um, there is a silver locket that has screws. And then the research center keys are right here if you need that to get into the other room then back out into the hallway and down these stairs is our final typewriter. And that is going to do it for this location. Let's go ahead and run back to camp real quick and see what we got. Back at our workbench now. Let's go ahead and scrap these items. So that gave us a total of 17 screws. That is a pretty good run. It's super quick, super easy. You're not fighting anything super difficult. Uh, so definitely a good, good location. All right, to complete the satellite dish trifecta, we are going to head up here and go to the National Isolated Radio Ray. It's near Sugar Grove and the National Radio Astronomy Research Center. Let's go fast travel there. So before we head inside the facility, we're going to run to this little guard shack right here. And looking at the bottom of the shelf, there is a hot plate. So let's grab that. And then we'll head back this way a bit and we'll just go through this opening in the fence and then here's the front door. So I've kind of got a uh, setup for this. We've got the globe. We've got a typewriter. Over here we have a desk fan. Continue this way and grab another desk fan. And over here in a little kitchen area we've got a hot plate and then we're going to turn and go up the stairs there's nothing in the basement that I was able to find there are some containers that might be useful um, so definitely worth a check but uh, we'll head upstairs now and in this first room we're going to grab the fan there typewriter there is a globe and then another fan. Make back out into the hallway. Into this next room. We're going to grab that desk fan. This room, there is the typewriter. And then continuing into this room, there aren't actually anything screw wise that uh, we're looking for. But we'll head down this ramp. And then on this table, you'll see the loading dock storage keys, if that's something you need. And then this door will be chained. It's open now. 
Uh, and that's going to do it for this location. Let's run back to camp real quick and see what we got. All right, back at our workbench. Let's go ahead and scrap all that. And we ended up getting 12 screws. Um, that's not too bad for a quick run. There are super mutants that uh, you have to deal with, but uh, it's not difficult. So 12 screws, pretty decent run. That'll do it for this one. I hope this video helped you get all the screws you need. If it did, please remember to smash that like button and comment below. Those things really help me out. Feel free to use the links around me to continue viewing my content and consider subscribing if you enjoyed yourself. I hope you have an excellent day. Thanks for watching.